Hey guys, welcome to another Maya tutorial and this time we're gonna make super cool realistic grass in Maya. We're gonna create the grass using Xgen in Maya and also we're gonna render using Arnold uh, in Maya 2018 and this is gonna apply in 2016, 17 and even the previous versions of Maya that have Xgen as well. So don't worry if you're not having the latest Maya because the methods I'm gonna show you here is gonna apply for any Maya that have Xgen. Okay, so as you can see it looks pretty cool. We have this uh, grass scene that looks like a backyard grass. Of course, we can add more things to make it even more realistic. But for this tutorial, I just want to show you how to create this uh, pretty quickly. And then you can use it for your own nature scenes. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the scene we have. So as you can see, uh, we have this is the backyard. Uh, we, I have a simple polyplane and I have uh, two trees for vegetation. And this is the grass that I have. Let me zoom into it. And as you can see, it's a difference in length, and it have like different textures on each. And also, it's a very low poly grass, which is really good, because uh, for doing like scattering, it's very important to make sure the object you're scattering is really low poly. If it's grass or trees, because then it's gonna be very heavy to work with in Maya, and when you render, it's gonna take also a very long time to render. So first, let me select these trees and uh, let's arrange them in the back. So scale, let's move it this way and then let's duplicate it, move it to this side, just make sure from top view is not crashing, let's move this one as well, okay so now we have those in position, let's select this one and we'll push it back as well, I think it's floating, let's zoom in, yeah. So let's scale it up and push it down. Okay, and then if you press Shift and D for duplication, and then you move it, and then press Shift and D again, move it the same distance. Okay, so this is good. Let me move all of them just a little bit this way. Let's select those two and then press R and scale and Y. So just make it looks different and then we can adjust also the length in each one of these separately just to make it uh, different and so they not look exactly the same we can also adjust the rotation as well and then same here the tree is a scale this one up a little bit raise it and also rotate it okay so let's duplicate this one and move it to this side and let's do the same here okay so before we keep duplicating more stuff let's create our camera so this way we can decide the composition so let's go create cameras create this camera and I'm gonna switch this one to the perspective and this side let's switch it to the camera view okay let's press to see the resolution gate let's zoom out let's move the camera like in a place where like looks nice and I want to focus more on the ground so I'm gonna be tilting the camera to look down more we can show a little bit of the sky or whatever in the background but since we don't have any geo there we don't need to show too much of it okay so I like the camera here so let's select it and I'm gonna just lock it for now so I don't move it by accident okay Okay, so this is the perspective, let's press 6. So next thing to do is, um, before we start scattering the grass, let's make sure the ground plane looks more natural, because now it's just flat. And it would be nice to have some like, um, like tiny ups and downs in it, so that's going to make it uh, look nicer when we have the grass on it. So let's do that. So let's go Mesh Tools, Sculpting Tools, and then Sculpt Tool, click on it. Let's double click on the options just to make sure strength. Let's put 4. We don't want it to be too strong. Okay, now since the ground is selected, we can start pushing the vertices and sculpting it. Okay. We don't need to go too crazy with this. We don't want to make it like a hill. But it's nice to get some uh, variation in the height. This will look really nice. 
Okay, I think we have it looks good. Just this. I know this step sometimes I go crazy and keep doing too much, but maybe enough like this way. Okay, so now the grass. Let's close this one, we don't need it. So the grass is in a group and and it have like three different geos. So it's better to combine them into one. So this will become a lot easier to work with. So let's select all of them. One, two, three, and then go to mesh, combine. Okay, now it's combined. Now you can notice the pivot point, uh, it's off. We just wanna make sure it's uh, like in the ground. So this way when scattering the grass will be like oriented correctly. So let's press D, hold D and then X and then middle mouse drag to that pivot origin. Now when you hold X it's gonna snap to the grid. So now our pivot is what we want it to be exactly on the ground. Cool. So this step is done. Uh, we don't have to move this grass anywhere. Okay, so the next step is to do is uh, create uh, X-Gen for the ground so we can use it to uh, scatter the grass on top of it. So let's delete the history just to make our scene lighter. Go delete by type history. So this way we don't have any history on the grass, sorry, on the ground. So let's go degenerate and then create description. Okay, so this is the X-Gen description. Uh, we need to do that so this way we tell X-Gen that this ground uh, need to use to generate grass or trees or whatever we want. So let's create grass. Type the grass here and for the collection, for the collection, we type the same thing, grass as well. So all these options we don't need to worry about. The most important one, we need to click on custom geometry. This way, why are we clicking on this one? Because we want to make sure we create, uh, we bring our own grass that we created to scatter on, on the plane. Okay, so this is all good. Okay, so once we created the X-Gen, you can see these um, uh, pink or purple dots everywhere. That's a good sign. That means X-Gen uh, did uh, recognize the geo and then it applied to it correctly. Now, next thing to do is we need to select the grass we just created. And uh, this is the X-Gen tab. So if you're not familiar with it, it looks complicated, but actually what we need to use, the, the settings we need to use here is pretty simple. First, let's go to preview output, and let's make sure in the output settings, in the render, we click Arnold. That's important step, so this will tell XGen to use Arnold as the rendering engine. And of course, if you're using Mentor Ray, you click Mentor Ray, or using render man whatever rendering engine make sure you select it from here okay next thing we need to go primitives and then we need to scroll down until we see this archive files this is where we can add grass trees rocks whatever you want to scatter on the ground so now we don't have anything in here and we didn't create any XGen uh, files yet so what we do we, we click on the grass and then we create create from selection okay and then this will tell you where you want it to save so I want to save it in my project and then I want to rename it grass B okay so now it's finished exporting uh, we could hide this grass now we don't really need it so let's go to the visibility press 0 okay now we need to go back to the action if you look at this uh, side you can see the action uh, tab so we click on it and now we created the grass as an action file, but we need to import it in our scene. So let's click on add or xgen archives grassb.xarc. Click open. Now it's going to ask if you want to import the materials. Click yes. Okay, so now as you can see, already the grass is everywhere. And it's really heavy, it's slowing down my scene a lot because there's like a lot of grass going on and you will notice that uh, there is some grass here doesn't show up the reason for this is because we created the grass while we was on the perspective and that's actually really good so actions it takes whatever preview previewing your scene in and project and scatter the grass based on the camera view 
which is good because that will save a lot of memory so let's go back to the camera and this time let's what we can do is update the preview but before that I wanna reduce the density now it's one let's make a 0 0.5 like half of what we have and then press space press space again sometimes it takes time to update so if you go to the perspective you can see it created from the from the camera point of view so now from the camera the scene is filled but from the perspective the scene is not filled which is it's a good thing in our case here because we just want where the camera see we can see the grass so now this grass is really small and very very dense so let's adjust the density even lower let's go with 0 0.1 okay so now let's see now my scene is a lot lighter to work with and let's zoom into the grass and see what's going on so you can see it looks nice but it's really small so let's adjust the size so in this primitive attributes you can adjust the length width and depth and that's basically the XYZ so for the length let's change it to 2 width change it to 2 depth change it to 2 okay and let's do a quick render and see what we have so far I'm just gonna show up the sky and let's render okay so now it finished rendered and you can see it looks good but the issue with it if I zoom in here um, everything looks very uniform and it doesn't look that natural you know like everything here looks like it feels like exactly the same grass it's just repeating 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 it's more like a golf course but that's not what the effect we're looking forward and in CG it's easy to get this kind of result like everything looks so fake and we want to make this more natural so let's start working on making the grass more natural so first thing uh, let's save this image and then let's close it and then let's go to the XGen uh, tab and I want to reduce the density even more because it does feel still too dense let's go half of that 0 0.05 okay and then now we need to start playing with the um, with the size of the grass and also that uh, rotation of it like the twist so but in order to get natural look we have to change these length to become more random because now it's the length width and depth applied on every single grass here exactly the same and that's one of the reason why we're getting this weird uh, looking grass so first thing let's click on the expression here and this is the values that kind of suggest between 0 0.05 and 5 so let's uh, type rand and then let's add um, 0 0.5 and let's see 3.5 and click apply you can see immediately the results we get now we have a nice variation click accept uh, and actually let's copy this and then apply it same to the width apply accept and then let's go to the depth and apply the same expression apply accept so now you can see it already start to look a lot nicer and and it's always nice to play with the density you don't want it to be too dense because it takes a very long time to render. If you can get away with uh, scaling it up and rotating it with less with less density, that will be always better. Okay, so let's see what else here we can change. Um, twist. If we rotate the twist. Okay, so twist is very helpful. So let's change it to zero. And then let's apply an expression to it. So it tells us the values between negative 180 and 180. So let's do that. Let's create rand. And then uh, negative 180. And then 180. And then create apply. Accept. So now all these grass is rotated between negative 80 to 180 randomly on each individual one of them so let's see what else we can do i think that's mainly it for grass that we need to adjust to really get it like a natural look okay so so this is what we had and then let's render and see what we got so far
Okay, so now it's done rendering and as you can see it looks a lot more natural and more realistic than the previous uh, version. So now it looks really nice, you can see like the variety in the grass and you cannot tell that this is just one grass that's been uh, scattered and rotated. And that's uh, really the key here with the action, the length and uh, the randomization that you can add. It really creates so much flexibility and you can have uh, really cool results. So let's see the previous one, how we had like everything so uniform and very dense but uh, and small. So and now we have it like feels a lot more natural and more appealing to the eye. And of course if you want to take this to the next level you can scatter like some rocks and some flowers and some different type of grass as well but this is even with one type of grass we can get very natural and uh, very appealing uh, looking uh, grass like what you find in the backyard of uh, houses so yeah guys um, uh, just one thing for this grass uh, why it looks also good is if you let's uh, hide the, let me just show you the grass itself let me just view the grass and then again uh, isolated okay and then and as you can see it's very low poly which is great as I mentioned before but like each grass almost have its own texture and that's really key you don't want each grass to have uh, exactly the same texture as the other uh, grass so each each one of these grass strands I guess you call them have a different texture uh, that is unique than the other one and that's uh, really help a lot like even if you have half of these have one texture and the other half have another texture that's gonna help a lot and if we go to the UV editor so you can see here this is the texture that's been applied and this is the grass faces that each one is like facing different taking different part of the texture and that's really important to get this grass looks uh, natural so let's hide this and then go back to our scene so when you scale it and scatter it all over the place it looks really nice and uh, very natural so this is just one tip to keep in mind if you're creating your own grass I'll be posting the links in the description for the models I use here they are paid but they are relatively inexpensive to use uh, you can use your own grass you can use the Maya built-in grass and the visor and uh, so it's, it's not a big deal it's easy to create recreate this kind of scene uh, in Maya using uh, free models or uh, the paid ones that I used okay guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial you find it very helpful so you can create your own natural scenes in Maya uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments please like and share this video if you're new to this channel please subscribe we're gonna be creating more videos like this in the future thanks for watching and see you in the next video